Hi guys, just a quick video then on trace making. Um, so you've seen the gear we're going to be using. Um, I find that using the Palomar knot is the best for trace making. Um, so I've got the wire here, I've got probably about 40 centimetres or so of it. Um, the Palomar knot is really easy. Um, you'll see some people starting off with doubling the line over um, and then pushing that through the eye of the swivel. But I find that it tends to, especially if you're using wire, it tends to put a bit of a kink in the wire. So um, I'll start off going through single and then back through again and then you end up with the swivel in the middle like that. Um, I'm going to pull a little bit more line through just to make it easier um, to tie. So simple overhand knot like you were tying your shoelaces. Push that through. You can see it. You can see that there. Um, Push the swivel through. It's easier when you're not wearing gloves, I can assure you. Um, you should end up with it looking sort of mid-stage like that. Um, I always like grabbing the top of the swivel then and then pulling that down. Pulling the tag end as well. And then just grab both ends, make it really tight. And then if you've tied it up properly, there shouldn't be any slips, so don't worry too much about trimming off the tag end close. Um, so we're just going to do it about there. So there we go, that is the swivel end. Um, I know probably a lot of you use shads, um, and you're probably thinking, um, you know, I don't really need to have the swivel there because it's not going to be any rotation, but with the best wall in the world, sometimes you're going to have a shad that comes back to you with hooks stuck in it and it's going to come back and it's going to be spinning. Um, and the last thing you want to do is to have um, twists and stuff in the wire and anything that's going to affect the integrity of your trace or even your main line. Okay, so attaching the top end then, again, same, pushing the line through and then back through in itself. A simple overhand knot. So that's just like that. Um, push this through. Tighten that up. Just, I mean, this line, this wire is coated, so it is quite easy to pull on. I wouldn't pull on it too hard, especially if you're using wire that isn't coated, otherwise, you're going to end up with. Um, probably wire embedded in your hand, but this one is fine actually. Um, so again, just trim it quite close. And you have it. So it's approximately maybe 18 inches long. Um, and that is a simple lure trace. Okay, so you've made your lure trace. You might end up with a few of these in your tackle box. I always find the best thing to do is just to make a loop, feed it through, and then, not tying it tight, but just keep looking, looping it through like that. And much easier to store in your tackle box.